Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a new series I'm throwing together in my spare time called Tech and Sip. I like alcohol, I like technology, I buy both. So I figured, why not review both? Neither is going to be too in-depth of a review since I am by no means an alcohol expert and more of a tech fan than a hardware fanatic. But still, giving some general buy it or leave it kind of advice I figure could be a lot of fun. And because of that, these are going to be more off the cuff, unscripted, just unboxing, initial impressions, and if you guys really want to know more, I'll do a follow-up full review later on. And I'll probably sign off the videos with a buy some or don't buy some of the beverage of choice for the episode as well. I do want to point out before I get into this, none of this is sponsored. The alcohol, the technology, I just wanted to drink and review tech and... I buy things for my own needs here and there, and I figured why not try to monetize it like all good YouTubers. So today we are going to go over the Fire Tablet HD 10. Uh, it's Amazon's tablet. It's a pretty good price, and we're going to go with the Apothic Inferno for the wine. So starting with the Inferno, uh, it says whiskey aged barrel for 60 days, 2018 vintage, red blend. 16% alcohol, uh, I went with the Inferno bottle just because fire, Inferno, no, no real reason to it. Uh, so yeah, American blend, looking forward to drinking a little bit of that, you may have seen it already had a smidge of it, so I already kind of know where that's going. Uh, fire HD 10, here's my sipping glass, I'm gonna have some now. Let's look at the spec sheet real quick. Uh, I went and got myself the 32 gig Fire HD 10 tablet. Right now it's on sale for about $95. Uh, it's a 2019 model. The Fire tablets are pretty cheap, bare bones, minimal spec, but I mostly got this to be a, uh, a viewing display for the Echelon bike I got from Walmart, also highly recommended. Just something to watch Netflix on while I pedal. So these specs real quick, I uh, got a 10.1 so inch, 1080p, full HD display, I want 32 gigs, uh, now 30% faster, but you know, it's a pretty crummy uh, internal specs compared to something like an iPad, but again, for 100, 150 bucks, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Looks like it has Alexa built in, 12 hours of use time. 720p HD video recording for front and rear facing, which I mean... Up until, what, the new IMAX? That's what Apple's been doing for their FaceTime camera, so... Can't really fault Amazon too much on that one. Let's see, USB-C charging, that's awesome, since, you know, everything is USB-C going forward. Let's see, what else we got? Kids tablet, nice graphics, designed for widescreen entertainment. I mean, yeah, again, something like Netflix, this widescreen entertainment's really all I really care about. They're using it for Alexa stuff, again, I'm... I mean, if you really want, like, an Alexa device with a screen on it that you want portable, I guess this is fine. But if you just want an Alexa device with a screen, maybe go with the Echo Show. Oh, yeah, so right now the uh, tablets are all pretty cheap for the old models. Um, again, I don't know what the Plus does to make it worth more. Specs-wise, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, oh, wireless charging. Big fucking whoop. Um... Dolby Atmos, my ass, like, it, it's dual speakers, probably shitty speakers too, like, I'm using these with headphones, Atmos is surround sound, best you're gonna do is virtualize it, it you need like a 7 point, no, 5.1.2 is the bare minimum for Atmos, you're not gonna get that here. Um, it looks like a pretty slim profile based on the pictures, I mean, the box is pretty tiny, Let's see, no 4G, that's fine, because again, who cares? 3.5 millimeter stereo jack, cool. Accelerometer, ambient light, sensors. Pff, ambient light sensors nice for the screen dimming when it's bright out uh, or brightening. Wi-Fi, some pretty cool colors. I went with the black, but you know, you got your plums, your whites, your blues, some interesting colors, I guess. Bluetooth, which is, again, all I'm really caring about for my audio. Uh, we'll get into the Wi-Fi connectivity. That's it's all pretty standard. Four hour charge is pretty solid. Three hours if you got a 15 watt charger lying around. Uh, Octa core 2.0 gigahertz with two gigabytes of RAM. I mean, this thing's probably running specs of a phone. 
10 years old at this point. I think like the iPhone 5 probably had specs like this. Uh, again, light, small, screen looks pretty solid, slightly above 1920 by 1080 p but I mean, this pretty much correlates to a 1080p screen. Uh, IPS, uh, IPS is actually pretty good for color panels if you want kind of good viewing angles and pretty accurate colors. Uh, they're a little bright, so you might get some kind of crappy black levels, but the rest of the colors are going to be super accurate in comparison. Uh, fully laminated display. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's looking pretty good. I am excited to crack into this. Okay, let's have some more wine, shall we? I mean, wine's not too bad. Pretty kind of mellow all around, which I mean, again, it's a pretty cheap wine. Which for me, I'm not a huge, huge wine drinker. I'm not going to go for anything super strong, but as like a just a what, $10 bottle of red, it's pretty solid so far. Pretty kind of, you know, kind of mellow sweet, not too bitter, not too full bodied as uh, some wine connoisseurs might say. So yeah, it's got the nice kind of tear strap here and then it opens up. Pulling it out of the box. Nothing else in the box. Okay. So, tablet pulls out. That right there. I like how they have the uh, orange color. It's pretty nice. Very Amazon. So we got our charging brick. Charging cable. You know, super essential stuff right there. Uh, things to try. Little uh, little thing going on. Got your Alexa. Got your apps. Some games. It looks like I'm never gonna play games on this. I have every video game console imaginable. That's what I'm gonna play my games on. Uh, their Silk browser, which I heard is pretty good. I don't know if they ever got YouTube back. I know that was a whole dispute. Um, if they did get it back, then cool. Download the YouTube app. If not, I've heard the Silk browser is actually pretty solid for that. Uh, here's our little orange bit. It's got our hello, Fire HD 10. It's in the box. Pretty, uh, pretty standard. No one really cares about paperwork. So, looking at this. Open you up. Place your screen down. Come at me, bro. Don't care. It's plastic. Uh, sturdy enough. I think it's got a pretty good resolution. Doesn't feel too hefty. Let's see where the power button is. This is, looks like that's volume. Power button. Oh, and a little chirp to turn on. We got ourselves the uh, Amazon screen right there. Slowly coming in. It's gonna be nice and reflective. You can see I'm recording using my phone. You can kind of see my speaker set up. Probably do uh, a, a full on uh, what I use to work and all that stuff later on when I get around to it. Again, just a nice mellow red. I'm gonna probably skip through a lot of this just so y'all don't see my name, my Wi Fi, all that stuff. As you can see, the update's kind of taken some time, got through the Wi-Fi setup, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. Otherwise, you know, for me, it's gonna be a lot of waiting time between clips. The update just finished. It's gonna give me a nice cool little video to watch. So we're gonna skip that. It's gonna load up, make this kid-friendly. No, cause I am an adult. I can adult things. Download free apps. Yes, I want you. I want you. We'll download you. We'll download you. And the rest is trash. Facebook, you already have all my data. I'm not going to be using you for that. App permissions and details. Yada yada yada. That's all good. Download. Cool. Okay. So let's see here. We got ourselves the Amazon app, which I don't need to buy anything on this. Amazon Kids worked there. Uh, Prime Video is pretty cool. Let's let's open you up. Well, that's a good, great fucking sign. Oh, I need to do that first. Ha <laughs> ha! Continue. Eh, let's enable Alexa for now. I I'm okay. 
Let's just gonna finish it. Now let's open you up. Cool Prime Video. Okay, I don't really care. Let's see what happens if I turn it sideways. Hey, it actually works. I was kind of worried it wasn't going to. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, Knives Out. That's a pretty good movie. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. Let's actually try that. Let's see. Watch now. Let's skip you. So I'm gonna listen into this. Okay. I will admit, the Atmos, maybe not entirely bullshit. That, I have my headphones around my neck and for a second there I thought that maybe that was like coming from my headphones. Cause of like the definite left right side. Am impressed on that for a hundred dollar tablet. <laughs> Uh, but it's probably very terrible at directed sound. Let's just skip ahead, shall we? This might be the best thing that could ever happen to you. Thank you. Not bad. Sounds yeah, like it's coming from the center. Easy for you, but it'll be good. Nothing. I mean, it's you know not gonna have good bass or anything like that, but like it, it's impressive given the uh, size of the tablet. Okay, so back on the home screen. Looks like my app's downloaded. It has a library with different recommendations. That's all cool. Hey, they know I'm a goddamn weeb. Let's see, Amazon app. Let's see how quick it loads. I mean, it's not terrible. Let's try the Silk browser. And not the slowest so far. I mean, Google's a pretty good uh, benchmark. See how fast Google loads. Oh, and they use Bing. Oh, disgusting. Okay, so Google loaded up pretty fast. Let's try searching for our YouTube. A little slow when it comes to video loading, but I mean... That is not unreasonable given the tablet. Uh, tiny houses, that's fun. It, it's a bit janky. I think for native apps, at least for the Amazon ones, it was pretty on point. Um, sound quality, you're never going to want to listen to anything in vertical mode, horizontal mode, or bust. Um, generally, again, uh, first impressions, the screen seems nice enough. It's a light enough tablet for moving around. Aspect ratio is fine. If you're getting it for cheap and you have very, very limited expectations out of this. Uh, ooh, camera. Let's see how, uh, how terrible that is. It, why do you need to know my location? allow it because Amazon already knows everything so this is a pretty um, terrible camera it is 720p but hey if you're taking pictures with this that's more speaks more about you than it does Amazon so that's my initial impressions on the fire HD 10 tablet and the apothic inferno wine both of them I'd say go for it at a good price you know Tablet 30, 40% off. Why not? Like, as long as you're only really using it for media content because of that kind of processing speed, you're going to be perfectly content with it. I'm using it while I work out. So, like, I don't need the best screen. I don't need the best sound. I just need something that looks halfway decent and can run Netflix. And this tablet does that at arguably the best price. The wine is not bougie. It's not meant to be bougie. It tastes good. Buy a bottle. Try one of their other ones. I don't know. I don't know what you drink. I don't care what you drink. Drink whatever the fuck you want. Buy some. If you want to see a full review on the tablet after I've used it for a couple months, let me know down below. Probably not, because it's an old, cheap tablet with a million and one reviews. New tablet's out. Probably just as good as this one, a little bit faster. Like, subscribe, all that. If you want me to make more of these, let me know. If you don't really care at all, just... Let me know so I stop wasting my time making them.